Hello and welcome to a micro module on memorizing the incident management process. If you work in the information security field, you'll know that every organization follows their own internal process. The process in this video presents what will be tested on the CISSP exam as taught in the official ISC squared CISSP training guide. So, let's get started. The trick, at least this is how I memorized it, is wait for it. Drum roll, please. You guessed it. Drum roll, or sort of, yes, drum roll. D R M R R R L, which can be pronounced drum roll. Here's a matrix that I've provided to illustrate how the mnemonic is mapped. So over here we have the letters, of course, just like my other video on, what was it? Change management. And then we have an explanation of the steps to help you understand. So, the D is for detection. This is where the tool, such as an IDS or IPS, or even a user, reports that there's an issue or something detects that there's an issue. The next is the R for response. This is where some type of triage occurs and where analysts and management try to figure out whether it's really an incident. This is where the formal declaration process happens. The M for mitigation. Think of what typically happens with malware. The device is disconnected, or could be disconnected, I should say. Not every organization would do that. This is the first containment action that occurs. Okay, so next is the R for reporting. The incident needs to be reported to all relevant stakeholders, such as customers, vendors, regulators, law enforcement. The next R is for recovery. This is where activities are performed to return the organization to a normal state. For example, if a user is unable to work due to malware infection, the PC would be cleaned, re-imaged, and reprovisioned back into production. The last R is for remediation. This is where the root cause is addressed. For example, if malware was introduced into the network due to the allowance of rogue devices, rogue devices would be disabled on the network. L is the last letter, which is for lessons learned. This is where discussions take place with the response team to improve how similar incidents will be handled in the future and where the overall process is improved. As always, I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for watching and have a great day.